We've all been there. We did our homework as an instructor. We prepared a lecture, we structured it, aligned it with the learning outcomes. Well, we even found interesting and topical references to the contents. And after giving a lively and inspiring lecture, we find out that our students are disengaged and upon asking them questions on the materials, that they only give incoherent answers that point to the fact that they did not really grasp the ideas that were important to you. So, what could have gone wrong here? The question this all boils down to is, what is the most effective and learning conducive way to structure a lecture? Well, it is commonly believed that the main purpose of a lecture is to inform the learners. Provide the learners with new materials, be it verbally, visually or via text. This alone is by no means enough to ensure that the learners will learn something. For this new material to be incorporated into the already existing knowledge structures, it is crucial to first reactivate all the semantic networks already in place. Only then will the new contents be most effectively linked to the prior knowledge. And you can do this by using short quizzes or e-tests in the beginning of a session, or by letting your students write down all they know about a topic or talk to their neighbor about the last session. These are two of the five phases of the Arriva model, a model to structure your session. It characterizes the specific phases via their novelty over time. For the learning to be sustainable and lasting, the students need to be actively engaged with the materials and work in a focused manner. Only then will their memory traces be strong and richly interconnected. And this can be achieved by working on exercises or problem sets or having small group discussions and peer learning methods. At the end of a new learning process, the students should appraise and assess what they have learned and moreover how. This fosters their metacognitive skills and their ability to see the bigger picture. This can be promoted by take-home messages or one-minute papers at the end of a session or by the flash feedback method. What have I learned and what is still open? A critical phase right at the beginning of each session is oftentimes overlooked or even completely omitted. You have to align the student's attention and clearly signal the start of a session. Give them a brief outlook of what is going to happen and why. Motivate the session that is about to follow. You can do this by having a ritualized start, by showing your agenda and briefly discussing the learning outcomes. Typically this process runs two or more times during one lecture, once for every new content block or learning outcome. If you have paid close enough attention, you might have noticed that the acronym does not work in English. I have sticked to the German acronym, however, because that way you will find useful literature and further materials online. A good colleague of mine once said, if all lecturers were to adhere to the Arriva structure and principles, the overall teaching quality would skyrocket, as would the learning success of the students. I believe that this statement holds true. If you want to find out for yourselves, give it a try and use the Arriva principles for one of your lectures. Good luck and take care.